welcome. I'm so happy you're here. If you are looking for answers or you are trying to make a decision, then you have landed in the right place. In today's meditation, I'm going to help guide you into the sanctuary of your decision making space where you're going to get quiet and the answers you are seeking will surface and you will feel connected, you will feel peaceful, and you will feel informed. I can't wait to hear how this helps you. So let's get started. Go ahead and close your eyes, bringing your attention down to your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum, seeing maybe even a bowl here that allows this curating and this comfort to be held here rather than just a whole flat surface. Allow this to be a little bit more confining even. See how that feels for you. And when you're ready, you can then see this beautiful root push down through the many layers of the earth, down into the center of the earth, clicking in and pulling taut. And as always, Thank you, Mama Earth, for the sun and the moon and the stars and our food and our water and our animals, our mountains, our oceans, our rivers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So grateful. Gratitude places us in this receptive state. It allows us to draw in abundance. Grateful, grateful, grateful. You can remain here for as long as you like, but if you're ready to continue, you can then see from the center of this earth, this beautiful hot molten lava rise up, filling up your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum, all the way up, three vertebrae up your back, if that feels right to you, or just underneath your cervix. And again, you can imagine this bowl here that's holding this, comforting this energy here in this space, nourishing this space. Taking a great big deep breath in to this nourishment, this presence, this being provided for, this provision here in this space. And while you are here, I want you to then first think about your very first question. What is it that you're trying to decide on? So ask yourself that first question and notice in your body is it does it rest below your heart or does it rest above your heart meaning you find it or feel it in your throat or in your head if it is at your heart and higher it tends to reward and be beneficial to our higher energy our spiritual energy that might be a really good thing for you if it is below the heart, it's only really answering our earthly desires. And while that can be pragmatic and good and well, is there a different decision that may answer your earthly needs and your spiritual needs? Is there a decision that could be a little bit even higher vibe that it could answer both? We'll ask three questions here in this space. So go ahead and ask your second question and notice where you feel it when you answer your question. Where in your body are you feeling that question? And if it's below the heart, is there an adaptation to that question that you could answer and allow that to rise just a little bit higher so it meets not only your earthly needs but also your spiritual needs? We give so much thanks and gratitude for that. And we'll ask one third question. Asking that noticing where in your body you feel this question reside. Is it above your heart, at your heart, or below your heart? Your body knows. It's trying to communicate with you when we get quiet like this. We listen, and when we follow that guidance, life turns out amazing. And so we thank you, body and higher guidance, 
for showing us where our decisions are going to benefit us most. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So grateful. And if you have more questions, you can go ahead and continue to ask them. But if you're ready to continue on, from your divine source up above, we see this beautiful golden light pour down in through the crown of your head, filling in every single cell and blessing those questions, blessing those answers. Seeing every single cell begin to illuminate with this beautiful golden light until every single cell in your body is filled with this beautiful golden light. So it then pours down to the center of the earth as you become this channel between your divine source and Mama Earth. Taking one more gentle breath here in this quiet space. Noticing, did one of those answers highlight a little bit more, become a little more illuminated, trying to get your attention a little bit more when you invited that divine guidance in? And if something illuminated more, this may be the first priority for you to move forward on. Just notice. Nothing, no judgment, nothing's wrong, nothing's right. Just noticing was something illuminated here in this space for you. And you can remain here for as long as you like, but if you're ready to come back, draw your attention back down to your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum. Seeing this beautiful tree root push down through the many layers of the earth, clicking in and pulling taut into the center of the earth. Drawing that beautiful mama earth energy up one more time, up that root, filling in and nourishing your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum. On two, beginning to rub your palms together. Three, massaging whatever might have fallen asleep. Four, taking a great big deep breath and stretch. And five, coming back awake, alert and refreshed back to this moment now. So what did you figure out? I would love to hear in the comments down below. Did this help you make a decision? Did this bring some clarity for you? I hope so. This was my goal is I want to help provide this clarity for you, for you to provide this clarity for yourself, that you get quiet and tap into your higher guidance because it is always, always guiding you. If you found this helpful, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and sharing and tell me, tell me, tell me down below how this helps you make some decisions and I can't wait to see you next week. Love yourself enough to heal, heal yourself enough to thrive. Take care.